Why are you under house arrest? Because the communist uh, government here think that if I am free as everybody else, I will uh, continue my fight for freedom and democracy. That shows that the why they have to put me under house arrest so that I have no opportunity of, meet, of meeting many people. Here, I, if I speak, I have no one to speak with. So we you know, all brought on the, uh, anyone who come to see me, sometimes uh, the police is, uh, is there over uh, across the street and come in. So they now they, I am isolated. They do not permit me to meet anyone. That's why they have to put me under long, under long arrest. You see, it is easy to understand when after seeing my master was killed very barbarously, very horribly. And then my mother and my uh, brother of my master and even my uh, grandfather in religion was also killed by the communists. And so that I, I see that the communists uh, very, very cruel. And moreover, they follow, uh, they apply uh, at the Tovid totalitarian regimes. Uh, people have no right to express their own idea. People have no human rights, even democracy. They rule over people according to their own will. So I see that the community cannot be let them free to do this forever. We, we must do something. Because here, you see, Buddhists, they do not live for their own uh, life, but they always think of the life of the people in general. And as long as the Vietnamese people suffer, we suffer with them. That's why we continue our fight until Vietnam has, has freedom, democracy, and peace. Because in my mind, we have no, I have no head, no head. I try to create my feeling, love everyone. That means love means happy. And as soon as you have love for others, you feel you are happy. That's why I am always happy. I know I do not feel suffering any moment. Almost I smile. <laughs> All right, I do. Do you? Yeah, I like it. Because they are also men. I want the thing, the only thing I want the community to do is they turn their idea, they give up their communism, their ideal of communism. This is nothing, there's no use. Now, what they must do is to give up communism and realize democracy, freedom, and human rights for all the Vietnam people, that they will be happy, <laughs> but not now. Are they not happy? Huh? Are they happy? They, they are not, I think they are not happy. They are always thinking of uh, hatred, 
of killing, of robbing. <laughs> how, how are they happy? Because you see, after I took over South Vietnam uh, for five years, from 75 to 78, they saw that the Unified Buddhist Church of Vietnam is very difficult to rule over, over us. So they tried to create uh, other churches under their control. After the setting that church, that means we can call national church, uh, they, they will put the unified the church in. Uh, they are not, uh, they, that will become, uh, they consider the unified Buddhist church illegal. They stop every activities of our church. Why is your church so interested in human rights and democracy? Why? Because, because we see the people, Vietnamese people in general were very, very miserable because of, uh, because they have to live under a dictator uh, regime. All their rights are taken away. They have nothing. Only one day, two meals, that's all. You see, the, the man has no rights, no meaning. That's all. So there's Who's no... that we make up our mind, must do something to change the situation. That's why we continue to do until now. In my own, in my own idea, I think according to Buddhism's Dhamma, the law, everything is changing, changing. Nothing remains in one, in the same, in, in, in the same form of meaning. That means everything is changing. The I think at last the communists have an end. They will not last for long. According to the impermanence, the law of impermanence. What is not changed is not exist. Everything exists and changes. So communism is the same. Communism is the same. One day they will come to an end. That, that's why I think in, long, in the long run, Vietnam will, be, will become a free and democratic country. And that time, Vietnamese people will be happy. I hope all who watch uh, this uh, interview, I, I respectfully ask them to continue to help Vietnam people, Vietnamese people, how to bring about democracy, freedom, and human rights. And especially with Norway, I expect my heart and thank for the Rato, uh, the Toro Rato rights that gave me in, 19, in 2006. And other countries uh, North Korea, Cuba and Nigeria, I hope. For me, I am living under the communist regime nearly uh, 
35 years now. I, I know that the people under such communist country have no happiness. They have suffered much. They suffer very much. So I hope that those country will give up their communist idea, ideals, change into democratic freedom and human rights. They respect human rights and that uh, everybody, every people need a world, every country will be happy. I hope all the world will be happy.